Hey you guys and welcome to another episode of As Fast As Possible. Today we'll be going over the topic of different kind of traders. Please note that not every kind of trader is included in this list. Just the ones that I think have the most value for this channel. The first kind of trader we'll be going over is the scalper. The scalper is an individual who makes dozens of hundreds of trades per day trying to scalp a small profit from each trade by exploiting the bid ask spread price. The second one is momentum trading. Momentum traders look to find stocks that are moving significantly in one direction on high volume and try to jump on board to ride the momentum train to a desired profit. The third one on our list is technical trading. Technical traders are obsessed with charts and graphs, watching lines on stocks or index graphs for signs of certainty or divergence that might indicate buy or sell signals. The fourth one we'll be talking about is fundamental trading. Fundamentalists trade companies based on fundamental analysis, which examines things like corporate events such as actual or anticipated earnings reports, stockpiles, uh, stock splits, uh, reorganizations and acquisitions. And last but not least on our little list here we have swing trading. Swing traders are really fundamentalist traders who hold the positions longer than a single day. Most fundamentalists are actually swing traders, since changes in corporate fundamentals generally require several days or even weeks to produce a price movement sufficient enough for the traders to claim a reasonable profit. And of course, I know guys, there are many kind of traders. As I said in the start, uh, they sometimes merge and become what I refer to as hybrids. I would say that I myself is a hybrid trader, meaning that I like to make swing and day trading, uh, momentum trading, you know. Uh, that's at least what works best for me. But if you find it more relaxing not to worry about trades overnight as a swing trader, then maybe try switching to a different strategy. But what do all of you guys think? Is it best to stay calm and only invest in the long run? Or is it on, is the only way to do a day trading? Let me hear your experience. Uh, I would really, really like to hear from you. It would mean so much. So please leave a comment, uh, maybe a like or a dislike if you think the video sucked. Uh, and maybe think of subscribing if you want to see the next video. Thanks for watching DailyTrader.tv as fast as possible. We'll see you soon. Bye bye.